Sorry, I rarely put out tweets like this and showcase them, but I have to do it for this this person. Uh, this pretty much is what uh, I thought the entire time when I heard that Big E was catching this title. It wasn't going to be in the beginning of the show. When you put out a, a statement like that, <laughs> and you're a football fan as well, if you watch WWE for any time in the past year, yeah, only a year, you know they're not going to do it like at the beginning of the show or the middle show. They're going to make you wait until the end. Especially when you can look at the results or whatever later on YouTube. It's, it's ridiculous. So why would any football player worth his salt watch the entire shit of Raw? So, um, pretty much what I did was I watched the beginning segment to see how MVP was and how Big E was going to interact and Randy Orton and stuff like that. And then I tuned out. I did something else. And then when I realized it was about five minutes left, I was like, yeah, I guess I'll put on Raw. Yeah, literally five minutes left. I was like, yeah, hey, I'll put on Raw, whatever. Um, and then uh, I was looking at the archives before that, catch up or whatever. Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, yada, 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 yada. Same old shit. And I'll get to that in a second uh, with another with another tweet here. And um, yeah, at the very end, uh, I think it was around 9.55 or so. Sorry, sorry, 10.55. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Let me stop looking at the archives and start going to the, the live stuff. Then I saw Big E uh, cash in or whatever at the very end because WWE would make you wait the entire show. They would obviously do that. However, here's another interesting tweet from someone. And uh, this guy has been watching wrestling for a very long time, as you can see by his tweets. <laughs> Shayna, who's a constant loser, faces the champ for no reason except to split up a fake tag team, I, well, yeah, um, it was a 50-50 from last week, but yeah, you get his point there, there's no point in, like, watching a match where a loser's gonna be fighting, like, the, the face of the women's division, that doesn't really make any sense, um, E versus Dewdrop was nothing, uh, two fake tag teams of a single stars, yeah, like, the, yeah, the whole, um, now, Nikki Cross and um, what's her face? Yeah, like they're, they're makeshift tag. They're not. They're not real tag teams. Uh, so yeah. Um, six man tag. Um, Priest versus Hardy. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like if Priest versus Hardy. He should have like made it go forward. Like Priest versus Hardy was nothing because Hardy was chasing the twenty four seven title last week. And Priest is, like, going to be facing someone important at the pay-per-view. And Hardy's not exactly, you know, in the high the, the, the high grace of the office. So that was a waste of time. If Hardy won that match clean, I'd be like, oh, shit, really? But Priest won because Priest's getting pushed now and Hardy is not. So that was ridiculous. So, yeah, that's it for now. Clack off. Oh, yeah, by the way, what if, what if this week would Killmonger and Tony Stark? Fire. Oh, my God, fire.